up at sunrise, ready to go four-wheeling. Using the map we got from Tahoe Forest Service, we headed towards Kingsbury Trailhead. Side-by-side -side rentals are available at the trailhead. There's access to the Tahoe Rim Trail from the Kingsbury Trailhead. The trail is used by motorized vehicles, horses, hikers, and mountain bikes. We took the tires down to 18 PSI for better traction and to soften the ride. Our Garmin GPS Map 66i helps us find our way. Start climbing right away after leaving the trailhead till you reach this wide road with fences on the side. From here you can access Genoa Peak Road, but we chose to head towards 14 North 33 Trail and do the loop clockwise. There are magnificent views of the woods and the lake all along this route. Trail 1433 North crosses the Tahoe Rim Trail in many places. Our Wrangler Eco Diesel is more or less a stock Jeep, but it performed very well on this trail. A solid four-wheel drive vehicle with a decent amount of clearance is advisable. We met up with a few of the rental side-by-sides going in the opposite direction. Fourteen North 33 ends and fourteen North 32 begins. Now we climb to 9,000 feet and find the Genoa Peak Trail and back to the trailhead. This was a great opportunity to stop for lunch and use our handy Jeep fold-out tailgate table. If you're enjoying the video, please like and subscribe. Genoa Peak Road was a lot rougher and had a lot more rocks. The road made me decide that it was time for a lift kit for our Jeep. It was very windy, but I was still able to get the drone in the air and get some decent footage. Back to the trailhead, air up the tires, and head back to our camp at Emerald Bay Eagle Point Campground. A great dinner, a relaxing campfire, and it was an awesome and wonderful day on the trail. Thanks for joining us at Muddy Ruts Overlanding.